Hey, what's up? Maker here. Tutorial for you. It's uh, a real smart motion blur alternatives. Uh, pretty interesting. What I have here is a clip with real smart motion blur. And it looks like this. So uh, we got some motion blur as you spin, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be going over how to get this effect without having this plugin. So here's uh, another way. Just take a quick look, see if you spot any differences. So, I mean, that's pretty good. We've got spinning motion blur again. And then uh, one more. All these have a uh, pretty close to the same effect. And uh, let's get right into it. So I'm going to take this clip, drag it into a new comp, and we got this. And what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, make sure this is on quarter so it runs a lot faster when you're working. Right before he shoots, I'm going to bring this in here, or just push B, and I'll snap to this. And at the end, right about here, push N. And then right click on this little uh, work area bar, trim comp to work area. Boom. So now we just got a comp this size. Um, yeah. So here's the first one. Make an adjustment layer. Go ahead and type in force motion blur. We have CC force motion blur. Pretty cool. And this, uh, this should come with your After Effects if you uh, downloaded it correctly. Um, okay, so nothing's really happening right now. So what we're gonna do is, let's see, go down to your clip down here, and the button that says frame blending, interpolates, blah blah. blah. Click it once, and it gives you draft. Click it twice, and that gives you best quality. And then turn on the frame frame blending for the comp, right there. And that should give you. And it's gonna be slow, yeah. So we got some blur right here, and um, the blur samples is uh, if you kind of look, if I set this down to like two, there's like two copies. If I increase this to three, there's a uh, like kind of like three copies. If you kind of see that, so the higher it is, the better quality you'll get, but the slower it'll render. And then the shutter angle is basically how much blur. So if we increase this to 360. It's gonna be like a longer, longer blur. So I like to keep it low and maybe set this down to like five. And uh, again, while you work, you don't want to have it on full. You just quarter, and then uh, it'll render a little bit better or s smoother. So yeah, that's one way to get motion blur. Another way is if I uh, let's see, delete this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to get the same effect using Twixter. Let's go ahead and type in Twixter. And Twixter or Twixter Pro doesn't matter. And um, let's see, our composition is at 59.94. So let's change this to 59.94. Okay. So essentially we won't get any warping right now, no effect at all. And what we're going to do is, bear with me, take our clip and pre-compose it and move all attributes. Okay, so let's double click, go in here, and uh, we've got this clip again. And let's change our frame rate down to 29.97. Not sure why, but for some reason it's it works. I don't know. Okay, so first let's duplicate our clip, and we need to stretch our duration twice as long. So uh, 89 times 2 would be 178, obviously. Okay, so we got this long composition. Take one of the layers, and we need to time stretch it. Time stretch, and stretch it 200%, so it stretches all the way. That. Now turn the audio off for the slow motion clip, and turn the eye off for the regular clip. So we have the audio from the normal speed and the video from slow motion. Now we go back into the Twixter comp, and uh, we're getting some some weird warping. What we're going to do is, let's see here, set the speed 
to 200 percent. So that basically turns everything back into normal speed. Pretty laggy, but let's see. Come on. Come on. There we go. Normal speed. And uh, let's set the frame interpolation to motion weighted blend. Uh, motion blur compensation right here. And it's 0.5. So what that gives us is going to be pretty slow. But just a little bit of blur when he spins. It's, uh, it's confusing, I know, but yeah, that's about it. So what I would suggest is just sticking to the um, CC Force Motion Blur because uh, it comes with it. You don't need Twixter or anything. It's a lot simpler, but I just want to show you you can do that with Twixter without a uh, real smart motion blur and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Check out any of my other tutorials, you guys. Um, trying to help you out, so help me out. Like my video, please comment, all that good stuff. And peace.